I'm Becky Moskowitz, and I'm just thrilled to welcome you back to school this year. We're so thrilled we can have our doors open. I'm going to give you a tour around the school because so much has changed, and we'll walk through everything so you know exactly what to do if you're coming back on the first day of school this year. In the mornings when you're dropped off, if you have walked to school, you will enter through the Farragut entrance near the back docks. If you have been driven to school, you'll be dropped off just like you were last year on Foster Avenue. You'll have your temperature taken and you'll come in and hand sanitize. So, once you've been dropped off on Foster Avenue, just like last year, and you've had your temperature taken, and everyone in the car has had their temperature taken, you'll come in through the main doors and we'll go right over here. Once we're here, there'll be two lines, a little hand sanitizer, nice all over your hands, and then we will go up these stairs. But this year it's different. We're only using this stairwell, all the stairwells on this side, the west side for up, and the other stairwells are for going down. You're gonna have to remember that. So, now you've come up the stairs and you'll come here and get some more hand sanitizer before you say good morning to your teacher. And we won't get to shake hands this year, but you will get to do this before you enter the classroom. And every time you come back in the classroom, even if you've gone to the bathroom or you've gone to do it a favor for your teacher, you need to come back in and use this again before you enter the classroom. And then when you come into the classroom, you'll see that the desks are so far apart so everybody has their own space to sit so we can be really safe. Hi everyone, I'm Dagmara Marona, the Dilayan class uh, teacher. Uh, welcome everyone. Uh, so we're gonna start our day with washing our hands using the gel. We're gonna come into the classroom. This is our snack table. Um, that will fit in 10 children and we are about to bring another table to expand if we have to have more than 10. This is our playroom. So our plan is to uh, spread out the children, two children here, two children there, two children there, and some children may uh, sit at the table and do domestic work or uh, color or do peace works. And then we also have um, little on house there. So we will be working on spreading out the children. And if the child is too close uh, to a friend, we will um, redirect gently to do some work or play with other friends. Hi, I'm Ashley Gamble. I'm the grade school level chair and one of the German teachers here at Chicago Walter School. Here at the drinking fountain stations all throughout the school, we have the drinking fountains that are not going to be in use this year. We have take over all of them. But you can bring and you should bring your water bottle and fill it up here right at the station. So you just come and put it over the sensor and fill it up. And then the next person can come and fill it up after you. So I'm waiting right now to go to the bathroom. As you can tell, there are dots on the floor that are six feet apart. When you are waiting to go to the restroom, you're going to stand on the dot, and when the person in front of you moves forward, you can move forward as well. Once you get close enough to the hallway of the bathroom, you will hand sanitize before you go in. When it is your turn to go into the stall, you will go in and use the restroom. When you are done, you will come out and wash your hands for 20 seconds. You can sing happy birthday to yourself or any other song that lasts for about 20 seconds. Make your way out quickly from the bathroom because there will be a line here. You will hand sanitize again and then go directly back to your classroom. So for grade school staff, all of the students will wash their hands first. Then with their class teacher, they will go out one class at a time to the blacktop area with their snack. 
Each class has their own section on the blacktop or in the yard area where they will be seated. They are six feet apart um, when they take off their mask and they can eat their snack on their spot. Once they're done with their snack, they'll put their mask back on, they put their snack to the side, and they can play within that quadrant. On the blacktop, grades four through eight will be playing there and we will rotate spots every day and they will stay in their own quadrant. The orange spray paint delineates where there's like the neutral zone where they need to be staying six feet apart. In the wood chip area is where first and second grade will be playing and eating snack and they will be eating snacks separately. And then on the jungle gym is where the third grade will be playing and eating their snack. Once snack is over, the teachers will either blow a whistle or indicate that snack is complete, and the students will go back to their spot where they were eating, and we will enter the building one class at a time. For our parallel learning students and families, every classroom is equipped with a microphone and computer for live Zoom access. To access the Zoom link, you need to go to the portal and find your grade and the class that you want and click on the Zoom link. Every morning lesson and every language class will be live. Students will be able to hear and see their teacher and classmates and hear questions and answers and see the work on the blackboard. Hello, I'm Ms. Sleta. I'm Ms. Sleta. And here in the high school, we have some students that will be in person in class, socially distanced, following all the rules. And we'll have some students which will be zooming in for parallel learning plan. Those students will be watching the classes through live Zoom if the classes will be held in the classroom. I plan to have some classes outside and those classes will be recorded on the video and posted on the portal. Overall, in math classes, I'm going to record lectures, I'm going to post tests and quizzes and homework all on the portal. So only the discussion and real discussion and conversation with students will be held in the classroom and over Zoom. When you're picked up, it's going to be quite different. We will not go outside together as classes. Everyone will stay in their classrooms, and the teachers all have walkie-talkies this year, and we will be looking out for when parents come to pick you up, and then we'll call up to your class teacher, your name will be called, and you will come downstairs on the east side of the building. As parents pull up or carpools pull up to receive their students, they'll get a call from a guard outside, and then that class teacher will allow those, that student or two students to go down. If you walk to school and your mom or dad is here to pick you up, you'll come downstairs and come right outside and meet them. If you're being picked up in a carpool or in, an, in your own car, then you will come downstairs and the teachers will walk you to your car and you will open the door for yourselves this year. The teachers will not do that for you. If your child isn't feeling well, or if the teacher feels that your child isn't feeling well, they will be sent down to the main office. There they'll have their temperature taken, and then they'll be walked over to what we're calling our time garden. This is where children will wait to be picked up to go home. Once they're there, a call will be made to you, and you will come to get them. However, we unfortunately are not having parents come into the school this year. So once you arrive at school, there will be a door outside the time garden, which is faces the, the yard, and there'll be a phone number there. You call that number, and then we will, send, we will bring your child out to you to pick up and take home.